before we get started, y'all should know over 80% of the people watching this video are not subscribed. So you make sure you get down there, you hit that little subscribe button, you hit the little bell button so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Because you never know, I am the most unpredictable and wild venture creator on YouTube, period. There's no debate in that fact. Tell me I'm wrong and I'll prove that you're lying. All right. One day I might post about foods that are easy to eat with dentures and how to cook them. The next day, I might give you tricks and tips. Then I might follow that with some legit advice to help you reevaluate your train of thought and get a different perception of your situation up in your mental. And the next day, I might just act crazy just so I can get y'all to laugh. So you never know. You make sure you hit that sub button and the bell notification button and you help me help more people. Let's get into this. What is up, my denture family? Let me see them smiles. All right, today I am happy as hell because yesterday I got my permanent dentures. Now, for me, I got immediate dentures on E-Day, and they actually became my permanent dentures via a hard reline. Now, the difference is night and day because when you get immediate dentures placed on E-Day, you know, your gums are obviously going to heal and shrink over time. And every time they would get loose, I'd have to get a soft reline and all that crap. You know, they worked wonders and soft relines. I love them because they help me be able to eat anything that I want really, really fast. But this is so much better because the hard reline now, they don't have the soft line material in there. Oh, I dropped them. So they're not as bulky because normally you would have the soft reline in there on top of the denture. And it would just make them more bulky. Even though it gave you cushion, it made them more bulky. Now they feel smaller. So it's a lot more comfortable. The suction is way better. It's just night and day difference. Now, the reason I decided to go with immediate dentures on E-Day is because I knew that they would act like a Band-Aid and help my gums heal quicker. And I'm stubborn. I love meat. I wanted to eat my food. I didn't want nothing holding me back from filling my belly. So that's what I did. And within two weeks, I was filling my belly with anything that I wanted to eat. I guarantee that you won't regret it if you get immediate dentures. Or if you want to go the other way, that's cool too. But for me now, the bite is a lot better. The fit is a lot better. They just feel, I can't even tell they're in there really. They just feel great compared to what they used to feel like. They feel a motherfucking amazing, baby. I am very, very happy with the dentist that I chose. And I'm going to tell you why real quick. I see a lot of people that have bad experiences that complain about their dentist messed this up or messed that up. See, I'm the type of dude, I went and asked Aspen Dental first. And they just treated me like dog shit. So I cussed them motherfuckers out right there in the lobby in front of everybody in the waiting room. And I cared not about it. And I didn't give a shit. So if a dentist is going to be mean to me and they step over the line, it's bang, I punch that dude right in the face. I don't care. I don't deal with people's shit like that. So I stayed away from them chain dentists and I went to a family dentist. And here's why I do not regret it. They gave me adjustments whenever I wanted one. I would call them. They would get me in there right away for an adjustment or a soft reline whenever I felt that I needed one. They got me in there right away and they treated me awesome. My dentist... Like yesterday was, I got my permanence. I went in there. I don't know. I must have brought it up the last visit that my favorite snack to eat without dentures was cheese curls. So I went for my last my last visit. And a damn dental assistant gave me a damn bag food, little cheese girl snacks, single packs. I was like, what? That's how dentists should treat their damn patients. Not like them Aspen motherfuckers making me cuss them out over some dumb shit. But another good thing is the dentist that I chose, a small family dentist. So they took these the other day to, to do a hard reline and turn them into my permanents. The tops turned out great. The dentist didn't like the way that the bottoms turned out. I didn't say nothing about it. He didn't even give me the chance to put them in my mouth. He said they sending them back and making them do it again. And that's why I liked my dentist, stuff like that. Instead of me complaining and them. Them beating around a bush trying to avoid doing something about it. This guy was straight up said, look, I don't like the way that the denturist 
did the bottom denture. I'm sending them out to get them done again. And I thank you for that. Anyone in the central Pennsylvania area, 717, to be more specific, if you need dentures, you go to Buck Dental and they will treat you right from start to finish. They have an excellent staff in there. They treat you awesome. They're very nice. They'll remember who you are by name after the first visit guaranteed. That's what type of good they are. So if you're struggling with your dentist, you go to a different dentist. And you tell the one that's being an asshole to go fuck himself. Because if he don't want to treat you with the respect you deserve, he don't deserve you or your insurance money. So fuck him, go somewhere else. And if you're debating whether or not you want immediate dentures or you want to wait for permanence, that's up to you. Without my dentures in, I can still eat cheeseburgers, cheese curls. I can even eat chips. It takes a little bit longer for the chips if I ain't got the teeth in, but I can still eat them. Now, it might take you a little bit longer to get you know, to where I went. I'm very resilient. I got a very high pain tolerance, so I knew I was eating what I wanted right away. But if you want your heal quicker and you don't want to be seen smiling without teeth like it, then you get yourself a meat. I should walk in a grocery store like that one day. I bet you somebody freak out. Anyway, just know that if you're new, everything will get better. It will get easier. And after your gums heal and you get your final product, most likely you will be satisfied. So just keep your head up. Keep marching forward. Don't let no little obstacles get in your way.